Good evening and welcome to Roswell Coyote Basketball here on KSVPTV.com. Kelly McDonald here with you flying solo tonight as my partner Art Sandoval is away watching softball. And uh, good on him for that. But we've got a good one tonight as your Roswell Coyotes are taking on district opponent, the Carlsbad Cavemen. The Cavemen come into the game at 16 and seven overall. 2-0 in district. They're the number nine ranked team in 5A and the 10th ranked team overall in the state. They've won eight in a row and nine out of their last 10. Coming in pretty hot, but could be a factor tonight that might give the Coyotes an edge. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Coyotes coming into the game at 12 and 11, one and one in district. They're ranked number 19 in 5A and number 32 overall in the state. Coming into the game on a one game losing streak and they are 500 in their last 10 contests. And the factor I was alluding to earlier is I have not seen Carlsbad High School standout senior shooting guard at 6'5", Damian Perez, who did not appear to be out there for warm-ups. I did not see him on the bench. So we'll see if Damian Perez is uh, injured or uh, doesn't appear to be in the building. So do not have the answer on that. But it will be a huge factor in this game as he is uh, an all-state type player that uh, ca certainly capable of taking over a game all by himself. Now, the downside for the Coyotes is this is a very deep and solid team. Coach John Zumbrin's squad has 12 seniors on the team and two juniors, so no one younger than a junior on this varsity team. They're experienced, uh, they're tall, uh, could roll out a lineup of 6'7", 6'5", 6'5", 6'3", 6'3", if he wanted to, and that's even without uh, Perez available tonight. So we shall see. For the Coyotes, it's going to be Steve McCaskill, Jacob Palomino, Zai Carrasco, Manny Fuentes, and senior Ivan Miramontes starting. And for Carl Batter will be Tylen Gonzalez, the 6'7 senior. Number 10 will be Evan Campos. Number 15, Devin McWright. Number 12, who I don't even have on my roster, so that's a uh, that's a problem there. We'll try to get squared out, uh, squared away, I should say. R.J. Amos will be out there as well. And we're just about ready to go. And it will be Carlsbad ball first, as they will bring it across. Again, no Damian Perez in the game. It will be this number 12, who I'll get for you, hopefully sooner rather than later. Be able to identify that player for you, as the max preps for Carlsbad not updated. Carlsbad looking inside of the big guy, and a good pass, but unable to finish is Gonzalez. There's going to be a handful for the Coyotes tonight. He's 6'7". They don't list his weight, but he's a big kid, and he's going to score there in the post as it looks like Carlsbad's going to look to take advantage of the size differential tonight. Palomino brings it across, going to go right to the basket and be fouled by number 12. We'll listen and see if we can get a name on number 12. Okay, number 12, I think, is Damian Perez. I think possibly have an issue with a uh, changed number or a uh, uh, forgot a jersey or something like that. So luckily for everybody tonight, we're going to get to see Damian Perez play. So Damian Perez is number 12 tonight. And Palomino cannot convert on the second one. It will be Perez with the rebound. So number 12 is Damian Perez, the 6'5 senior shooting guard. And uh, they'll need to keep an eye on him. Here's a lob inside. Now they're going to go to Perez in the corner, and he can shoot it. 
No good this time, and it's Palomino, or excuse me, Miramontes with the rebound. Coyotes run their offense against this matchup zone. It looks like they're actually in the man-to-man -man defense, and there is Manny Fuentes scoring for Roslyn. Now they take the early 3-2 lead. Big game for Roswell if they have hopes of making the state tournament here in a couple of weeks. They'll need an upset or two to crack that top 12 and earn one of those 11 at-large bids to the state tournament. Good defense there by Palomino or uh, Miramontes, but he cannot save the ball afterwards. And possession will remain with the cavemen. Here's Perez over to R.J. Amos, not close, but the offensive rebound by McWright is up and in. Coyotes have to do a better job on the defensive glass there. Coyotes have gone with a big lineup for the most part, with everybody six feet or better except for the quarterback, Manny Fuentes. Here's McCaskill inside against the 6'7", Gonzalez. And now Fuentes picks up the dribble and he'll have to go cross court to Palomino. Good defense by the caveman. Palomino to Fuentes, he's gonna drive and good effort there to get a shot up. And it will be Palomino cleaning up the garbage and giving the Coyotes a 5-4 lead. So the Coyotes have come out strong here at home against the Cavemen. And they have to get the big guy off the boards. They just can't let him roam around in there. And now Coach Zumbrin very upset with the officials as he's going after one of the officials. And he has called a 30-second timeout. So we'll take a quick break, too. Thanks for tuning in to Roswell Kyle Basketball on KSVPTV.com. Oasis Computers has been Roswell's trusted source for home and small business computers for over 30 years. And they continue to be your best resource for computer repairs, operating system upgrades, web root managed antivirus, special orders, and more. Oasis Computers is now open from 8 to 1, Monday through Friday, to better serve you. Service calls by appointments and after-hour appointments are available, too. Stop by Oasis Computers at 1703 North Garden or call or text 575-625. 9141 for even faster service. All right, we're back to live action here from the Coyote Den as the Rosal Coyotes trail the Cavemen 6 5 here early going in this district matchup. There's Miramontes who passes up on the three. He's going to pass inside to McCaskill. McCaskill with a couple of fakes, but can't finish. And it's the big guy, Gonzalez, on the defensive glass. And here's Damian Perez. Skip pass. And Carlsbad just content to run a little offense here. Gonna get a three attempt that's blocked. And it's gonna be a turnover after the offensive rebound by McWright. First turnover of the game for either team as Samuel Gee will check in. He's a 6'3 junior. Forward. First substitution of the game for either team. We were almost halfway through this first quarter. It's been a back and forth affair. And we'll see who this foul is on. It could be on the big guy, Gonzalez, and it is. First foul of the game. Sorry, second foul, they're saying. So I missed the first one. Oh, we had the foul on Perez, so. And there's going to be a turnover on Miramontes. So mistake free for the most part in this first half of the first quarter. And now Lackey will check in for McCaskill, try to match up a little bit better with Gonzalez. They list Gonzalez at 6'7. Lackey only listed at 6'4. They look the same height to me. So we've got some. Uh, 
Some undersizing or some oversizing to do here. And there's Lackey paying off dividends right there as he intercepts the pass inside to Gonzalez. And now we'll have Miramontes for three. As the Coyotes take a, an 8-6 lead here with 3.41 remaining in the first quarter. Near turnover there. McWright to Gee and now back over to McWright. We go inside. Perez with the fadeaway three from the corner. He goes to the floor trying to draw the foul, no dice. And the Coyotes look to take the biggest lead of the game here as we approach three minutes left in the first quarter. There's the no-look skip from Carrasco. Here's Manny driving, baseline jumper. Will he get the friendly roll? No, and here's Lackey. And they're gonna get the travel. As that shot was contested by the interior defenders of Carlsbad, I was gonna say Lackey went up and came down while maintaining control of the basketball. Not sure about that call. I think that would've been a good no call as the ball was definitely touched by the defenders. And I don't believe Lackey maintained control throughout. Coach Burrell is screaming out to the defense to be aware of where Perez is. And three-point attempt is up no good. And the rebound by Carrasco as Evan Campos cannot connect there. Excuse me, Ismael Chavez. Offensive foul here. And they're going to give that to Miramontes. And it's first foul on the Coyotes here. Nearly six minutes into the game, so that's good for the foul trouble situation. But just three total fouls called in the game, so at this rate, foul trouble not going to be an issue for either team. Down to two minutes now here in the first quarter. Kyle's lead at 8 6. Here's Perez pull up three jump shot, true jump shot. And Perez with his first points of the game gives the Cavemen a 9 8 lead. There's a bobbled ball by Carrasco. He'll hand it off to Fuentes. Deep three, no good. And it is Perez on the rebound. Got inadvertently hit in the face there, but it appears to be okay. Half left here, first quarter. Cavemen nine, Coyotes eight. Here's the drive and the turnover. And Palomino will attack one on three. Gonna get a blocking foul. It's a correct call. Foul's gonna be on Samuel Gee, his first, and will send Palomino to the line for the second time in the game to shoot two. So Palomino has done a good job here in the early going, attacking the basket. And it will be the friendly roll on the first free throw, good. And now we're gonna get the first subs into the game. And it will be Jerry Barola checking in, giving Carrasco a break, and now Fuentes will take a seat and Saracino will check in. Palomino violated on the free throw. They don't call it, so he gets the basket, and the Coyotes get the 10-9 lead here as we approach just one minute left in the first quarter. Kind of a low-scoring affair. Here's the long skip pass to McWright. McWright cannot convert on the long jump stop. It's Lackey with the rebound. Palomino to Barola. Barola will drive, and now go inside and they're going to say it's a travel on Barola, the third turnover of the game. Carrasco, three turnovers each. And now with 48 seconds left, it will be Perez bringing the ball across the timeline. He's guarded by Palomino. High screens for Perez and a 
27-foot shot is short. Now Perez inside, thought he might try to dunk, but he is just gonna put in the layup instead, and the caveman take the lead. It has been a back and forth affair here in the early going. Not sure of how many lead changes we've had, but uh, it's a bunch for such a low scoring game. 20 seconds remain here. Kyles can play for the last shot, try to take the lead going into the second quarter. It will be Palomino inbounding. He'll give the ball to Saracino, who will dribble against Barnes, and here's a shot by Barola, and it's a three, and it's good. So the Coyotes take a two-point lead, six seconds left. It will be Perez by himself, three seconds. He's got to shoot it from near half court and had it going straight, but no good. Not very good clock management there by Carlsbad. So at the end of one, it's Roswell 13 and Carlsbad 11. Thanks for tuning in. Roswell Coyote basketball here on KSVPTV.com. We'll be back in one minute. Have you ever thought mom and dad are beginning to need more help, but with a busy job and raising a family, you just don't have the extra time? Personal Care by Design will be there when you can't, from one hour a day to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All of our caregivers are carefully screened and we are the only personal care service that is overseen by a registered nurse. Competitive rates, great people, and experience is what sets us apart. So when you need extra help at home with your loved one, you can count on personal care by design. Personal, private, and protected. Call us at 575-625-9471 for your personal care needs and receive a free nursing evaluation. That number again is 575-625-9471. All right, we're back for second quarter action here from the Coyote Den. Kelly McDonald here with you on KSVPTV.com. Zarazo Coyotes, a good first quarter, good start to the game as they lead this one 13-11, and they start with the ball here to start the second quarter. Trying to attack this aggressive defense matchup zone from Carlsbad. Palomino driving, he's gonna to kick to McCaskill. McCaskill will drive now. And now Saracino from the corner, no good. And Carlsbad with a chance to tie it up or take the lead here. Amos to McRae, back to Amos to now Perez. Seeming, seemingly unlimited range. And they're gonna get Saracino on the foul on the arm. And Rylan Saracino, the sophomore, will pick up his first foul of the game. And it will send Damian Perez to the line shooting too. This one's up and good. Saracino, uh, if he got him on the arm, he didn't get much of it, but Fisher was right on it as Perez knocks down both free throws. And now here's the press from Carlsbad. And Palomino able to get it across. And now a three-point attempt. Miramontes, his second three of the game, and now leads all Coyotes, scores with six. And the Coyotes back to a three-point lead. And the lob is there. I was going to say the lob is there if they won it with the mismatch. And they do take advantage as Tylen Gonzalez, for some reason guarded by the 5'9", Ryland Saracino, giving up nearly a foot. But Saracino makes up for it with the little scoop in the lane. Close to a backcourt violation there on Perez as they Continue to skip the ball around. And this will be McWright for three, no, but they can't do anything with Gonzalez inside. They have to get him off. That's eight points now for Gonzalez. He leads all scorers in the game. 
little mini skip here to Fuentes, and he'll kick it back out. And it's Saraceno at the top. He's guarded by McWright. And now double team. He'll kick to Fuentes. Fuentes will drive, and a tough shot inside. And uh, that one will not go down. A little out of control from Manny Fuentes there. And that pass is broken up. The turnover on the good defense by Rosal and a wide open three for Manny this time. Can't get it to go. Good look though, we'll take that all day. Cows still lead it by one, 18-17 in what has been a low scoring game so far. Subs ready to come in for Roswell. Here's Perez with the three, no. Offensive rebound by Campos. And Perez, my goodness. Thought he was going to dunk that, pulled it back the last second, lays it in. Saraceno for three, no. Long rebound goes out to Amos, and now it will be Perez passing ahead, and that could be an offensive foul. And oh, he put his hand behind his head to call the charge, and then changes it to a block at the last second. And I'll tell you what, I disagree. It's going to be a foul on Ryland Saraceno. And the basket by McWright. Sorry, the basket no good by McWright, so he will shoot two. He misses the first. Carl's bad. We'll get some players in here to rebound now as they had everybody out there for the first free throw. Blackie checks back in. along with Carrasco, and neither free throw good, so it winds up being relatively harmless. Turnover there as McCaskill didn't see the defender coming behind him. There's the skip and the three. No good, and Miramontes knocks it out of bounds, reaching over the top of Evan Campo, so it will remain Caveman ball, we're tied at 19 here. Four, oh, and now a wide open shot for Perez. And more trouble in the offensive glass, but a big block by Lackey, another block by Lackey. Just can't seem to get the rebound afterwards. And now a turnover after they do get the rebound. And now we're gonna get Sebastian Mendoza in the game. There's lots of opportunity here to score on this possession. And good defense again as Perez cannot get that one to go down. And now it'll be Fuentes getting his shot blocked. And potentially a little taunting there, but. And now they're gonna bring Miramontes out of the game. As Sebastian Mendoza enters for the first time. And Carlsbad will counter with Ismael Chavez. Fuentes to inbound. Got to leave that last play behind him here. Not try to do too much to compensate. Here's the long three from Fuentes, and he does exactly what I said not to do. Makes up for it immediately with the long three, so good job, Manny. And now Mendoza with the pressure defense, but they get the ball inside. And now they're gonna get a hell ball here with McCaskill. And it looks like Garrett Gossett who enters the game for the first time as they finally give Tylen Gonzalez a break. Gossett listed at 6'5". Here's Perez near midcourt being pressured by Mendoza. And now the skip to Perez, pass inside to Gossett, and he's double teamed immediately. Perez tries to dribble out, nearly throws it away. 
Zach Barnes now in the game for Carlsbad. And Lackey goes for another block, but able to get it down is Samuel Gee for two, his first points of the contest. Caveman cut the lead to one. Here's McCaskill with the jumper. And that's an air ball saved by Lackey, but right to Perez. And now Perez will attack, skips it over to Barnes. Barnes will drive. He's fouled by Lackey. They don't call it. Instead, they're going to call the travel. So turnover. And the Coyotes will get the ball back, clinging to a one-point lead here as they're looking for the upset of the number nine ranked caveman. And a much needed district win. Here's Mendoza driving, kicks to Barola. Barola back to Mendoza. Mendoza turns it over as he tries to dribble through Barnes and there's the pass and the dunk from Perez who's fouled in the process and it's gonna be Manny Fuentes who draws the foul and Perez might be shaken up a little bit as he gets the dunk to go down. And now we'll get a free throw. Again, they list Perez as a shooting guard and he does handle the ball probably more than anybody. They list him at 6'5", very athletic. Can't make his free throw there though and luckily it goes off the leg of Chavis and out of bounds as the Coyotes continue to struggle on the defensive glass. And Perez will come out, his first breather of the game. Here's Mendoza kicking out to Barola. Barola drives and now skips back to Mendoza who drives and now Mendoza's gonna throw that to Carrasco, but unfortunately it's Pilar Carrasco who was closest to that pass. So another turnover from Roswell and Mendoza will now come out as they get Miramontes back in the game. All right, here's Chavez bringing the ball across. Over to Amos and now to Barnes. Love the skip pass against this matchup zone. Moving the ball quickly. Making the Coyote defense work hard. Just a minute and a half left here in the first half. Coyotes now trail it by one. After the Perez dunk. There's a near turnover from Carrasco. And a little floater no good and Lackey can't Hold on to the rebound, but it's because he was fouled. It'll just be the 14th foul. And the 14th foul for each team. Casca will re-enter. Lackey will go out in what is perhaps an offensive defensive switch. Foul was on Chavez his first. Carrasco now bringing the ball across. Haskell appeared to travel in a great pass over to Palomino who was able to convert. Seven points in the game now for Palomino who was great early and then cooled off here. He gets another bucket there and there's a block shot by McCaskill and a steal by Barola. Barola will go up and have his shot blocked. Coach Barola asking for a foul on the play. It appeared he did kind of just lose control. Might have been fouled. Either way, Coyotes maintain possession. The inbound to McCaskill. He drives, kicks to Palomino. Now to Carrasco and the skip to Barola. Barola for three from the corner. No. And here comes Carlsbad with 23 seconds left. They can hold for one if they so choose. And with the Coyotes leading 24-23. Deep three from Perez, no good. Offensive rebound is taken away by Barola. Barola gets the outlet. Miramontes has time, sets, fires, three! Pointer, Ivan Miramontes as time expires. 
And the Coyotes are gonna take their largest lead of the game in at halftime, 27-23. On the steal by Barola, the great outlet and the heads up play by Ivan Miramontez. We're gonna take a break now, about nine minutes, and we'll be back right before halftime is over. Thanks for tuning in to Kyle Basketball on KSVPTV.com. take the worry out of buying pre-owned vehicle with a 139 point inspection and backed with a three day money back guarantee. You can't make a bad decision shopping at Roswell Ford, home of the tailgate nation. Hi folks, Larry Skane, service manager at Roswell Ford. Our removal service van turns your driveway into a service bay. All work is performed by Ford factory trained technicians. Call Roswell Ford today to schedule your no hassle mobile service appointment. How do you make the most of your land? Shaw does it behind the wheel of a John Deere 1025R compact tractor, as he does everything to make. My yard looks as beautiful as I possibly can. But the Hubbards use their 1025R because... We really are trying to create this homestead. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deer. Stop by Pecos Valley Equipment in Artesia and Roswell, or visit us online at PecosValleyEquipment.com. Pecans are a big deal here in Chavez County. We have some of the biggest orchards in the country, and lots of us have pecan trees in our yards. Hi, this is Jim Gill from Roswell Seed Company. Whether you have one pecan tree or a thousand of them, this time of year, every pecan tree needs fertilizing. So come see us at Roswell Seed Company, and we'll get you fixed up with the right fertilizer for your pecan trees. So the next year, your nuts will be big and beautiful. And that's all I'm going to say about that. With the hustle, bustle, and bright lights of the holidays in the rearview mirror, it's time to ease into the new year with a new car or truck from your friends at Roswell Ford. Because nobody makes car buying easier. With more than 500 pre-owned vehicles in stock and brand new units arriving all the time, finding the perfect vehicle is easy. A three-day money-back guarantee on all pre-owned vehicles makes the decision easy. No payments for 90 days easily gives you time to put those holiday expenses behind you. And with a goal of 100% credit approval, Roswell Ford even makes financing easy, regardless of your credit situation. And we happily accept I-10s, like I said, easy. So make some time and come see what we have for you at the Tailgate Nation. Whatever you're looking for, you can count on Roswell Ford to keep it simple and make it easy. We're waiting for you now at the corner of 9th and Main, so we're even easy to find. Jennifer here from Trustmark Roofing, and I know you've heard me say that you can trust Trustmark, but I want you to know what that looks like in real life. A few years ago, we installed a beautiful new roof for an older woman who was recently widowed. She was an artist and colors were really important to her. So when she said she didn't like the color of a brand new roof, we took that seriously. She had picked the color and signed off on it, but I just kept thinking, if she's going to walk into her house every day and be disappointed, then we're just going to redo it. So we did. We ripped that beautiful new roof off and replaced it with a slightly different color and she was thrilled. Yes, it cost us quite a bit of money to make her happy, but I want you to know you can trust Trustmark to make it exactly right every time. If you have any roofing needs, call us at 575-755-ROOF or find us online at TrustmarkRoofPros.com. Trustmark Roofing, we put people first. In times of uncertainty, one thing seems to be constant 
crime tends to rise. Zenith Security Services, a locally owned company that's invested in our community, reminds you that for less than five quarters a day, you can be proactive in protecting your home, family, and assets with a monitored alarm from a top UL rated company. The hardest calls we receive at Zenith Security are those needing our services after the fact. Call Zenith Security Services at 575 626 3521 to schedule your free security assessment today. If you need a Kubota that works and plays hard, stop looking. You'll find everything you need at Amigo Machinery. When it comes to tough Kubota tractors, mowers, construction equipment, and utility vehicles, all with low-rate financing, Amigo Machinery is your one-stop shop. We are passionately committed to providing our customers with the highest quality products, most innovative solutions, and services delivered with integrity and professionalism. Stop by Amigo Machinery in Roswell or see us online at Amigo-Machinery.com. Bob Reed Pest Control protects you and your home by controlling pests that invade. Bob Reed Pest Control understands the importance of safety in and around your home from unwanted pests. Protect your family's most important investment, your home, and protect your children and pets from the dangers of poisonous bugs and insects. Call Bob Reed Pest Control today and let our fully licensed pest control professionals start working for you and your family. Find us fast and name some numbers. Call 623 53 serving all of southeast new mexico if your car breaks down no need to cry because there's always a pal nearby at big o at big o tires locally owned will get you in gear that's because you've known us for years at big o big o tires don't need to sweat any extra labor you can always trust a good neighbor at big o at big o tires The best service is part of our code. Need a cup of sugar? We're down the road at Big O. At Big O Tires. Hurry into your local Big O Tires now through January 29th. And buy three tires, get one free on four select in-stock Nexon or Aspen tires with installation purchase. That's right. Buy three, get one free. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Installation required. Not valid with other offers. Eligibility may vary. Disposal fees and shop fees extra where permitted. Even if you swing the golf club like an arthritic giant gorilla, you'll look good on the course in professional polos, shirts, and hats embroidered by business notions. Even add your company logo to golf balls. So don't look like a gorilla. Call Business Notions at 625-2840. Professional embroidery and screen printing, perfect for your next event in sports teams. Business Notions, our business is making your business look good. 625-2840. Did you know that Central Valley Electric Cooperative has a program in place to help members save on a variety of goods and services, from hotel discounts to pharmacy discounts? Bring in the new year with national and local discounts using your CVE Co-op Connections card. Print your free Co-op Connections card at www.connections.coop or download the Co-op Connections app. You can learn more about the program and discounts at www.connections.coop. If you are a business and would like to become a part of the CVE Co-op Connections card program, call Ray Lynn or Kyler at 575-746-3571. Eastern New Mexico University in Portales is proud to offer potential students the opportunity to attend ENMU tuition-free with the New Mexico Opportunity Scholarship. And now we are proud to announce the newly created Freshman Hound Housing Room Grant, which will allow students the opportunity to receive up to $3,000 per year off their housing costs when living on the ENMU campus. For more information on how ENMU is making higher education more affordable for you and your family members, visit enmu.edu. Eastern New Mexico University, student success, that's what we're about ENMU Roswell offers high school students the opportunity to get a head start on their college education journey into health care. Through the Allied Health Careers Pathway, high school learners can enroll in dual credit courses that introduce them to a wide range of careers that include emergency medical technician, paramedic, nursing, occupational therapy, respiratory therapy, medical assisting, phlebotomy, and nursing assistant. Start your health care career path at ENMU Roswell. Contact your high school 
school counselor for more information. Find your path to a greater future at Eastern New Mexico University. With degrees offered both on campus and online, ENMU has the flexibility that you're looking for. And with the New Mexico Opportunity Scholarship, New Mexico residents can now start, continue, or finish their bachelor's degree tuition-free at ENMU. For more information, visit enmu.edu. Eastern New Mexico University, student success, that's what we're about. If you're missing a tooth or several teeth, a dental implant may be the ultimate solution. Implants look and feel so much like real teeth that you probably forget you have an implant. Maupin and Brown Dentistry is one of New Mexico's most experienced implant providers with literally thousands of implant patients who are absolutely delighted with the results. Call Maupin and Brown today for an evaluation. You'll be surprised how affordable implants can be. Maupin and Brown, your choice for experience, state of the art dentistry. Oasis Computers has been Roswell's trusted source for home and small business computers for over 30 years. And they continue to be your best resource for computer repairs, operating system upgrades, web root managed antivirus, special orders, and more. Oasis Computers is now open from 8 to 1, Monday through Friday, to better serve you. Service calls by appointments and after-hour appointments are available, too. Stop by Oasis Computers at 1703 North Garden or call or text 575 625 9141 for even faster service. How do you make the most of your land? Shaw does it behind the wheel of a John Deere 1025R compact tractor, as he does everything to make. My yard looks as beautiful as I possibly can. But the Hubbards use their 1025R because we really are trying to create this homestead. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deer. Stop by Pecos Valley Equipment in Artesia and Roswell or visit us online at PecosValleyEquipment.com. Have you ever thought, mom and dad are beginning to need more help, but with a busy job and raising a family, you just don't have the extra time? Personal care by design is just what you're looking for. We can be there when you can't from one hour a day to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All of our caregivers are carefully screened and we are the only personal care service that is overseen by a registered nurse. Competitive rates, great people, and experience is what sets us apart. So when you need extra help at home with your loved one, you can count on personal care by design. Personal, private, and protected. Call us at 575 525-9471 for your personal care needs and receive a free nursing evaluation. That number again is 575-625-9471. All right, welcome back to second half action here on KSVPTV.com of your Roswell Coyotes out to a four-point lead over the favored cavemen and it will be the coyotes who start with the ball here in the second half and they will inbound to Manny Fuentes as they go with the same starters that started the game Miramontes Carrasco Palomino get an early turnover there Fuentes and McCaskill the other two starters for Roswell it is Palomino and Miramontes, the leading scores in the first half. Miramontes with nine and Palomino with seven. And for Carlsbad, it was that man, Tylen Gonzalez inside and Damian Perez. Gonzalez had eight in the first half, now looking to make it nine and 10 as he goes to the line. Foul was on Zai Carrasco, his first. Damian Perez. Led all scores in the first half with 11. Gonzalez makes the first to two. Second one is up, it's good as well. So Gonzalez gets into double digits with 10. And now here's Carrasco losing the ball, but picked up by Miramontes. Fuentes for three, no good. And it will be Perez on the rebound. He kicks out nice 
pass over to McWright for an easy bucket as the transition defense failed the Coyotes there. Didn't have a lot of rebounding. And now a turnover from Fuentes. Didn't have a lot, anybody offensive rebounding and yet did not get back in transition. So Coyotes cannot sit back on that start. They've already lost their four point lead. And got a little dude on the court there. So safety first as always. Official stop play. Get the little guy out of the way. All right, here come the cavemen. Off to a hot start here in the third quarter. They move the ball around the perimeter. Coyotes in that matchup zone. Here's the skip. Three-point attempt is up. Not really close from Amos. And McCaskill with the defensive glass. And now here comes Manny Fuentes, two on four. Now he'll bring it out wisely. Palomino. And now Miramontes in the corner, his fourth three of the game. He's got 12 to lead all scores. And the Coyotes jump out to a 30 to 27 lead as they stem the tide in this first little run. And good defense there from McCaskill as he's fronting the big guy, Gonzalez. And McCaskill will bring it across. And now Carrasco drives, no look. And with such a good no-look pass, it, it surprised Miramontes. And Miramontes has to go off his hands and out of bounds. So that will go down as a turnover for the Roswell Coyotes. A good look from Carrasco. Kind of outkicked his coverage there. All right, here's Amos over to McWright. Perez is roaming the baseline. Right at the top of the key, and now they'll see if they can get Perez the ball in the corner. They do, and he'll go in and score, showing the athleticism, and a timeout called by Coach Zumbrin. And it will be a 30-second timeout. We'll take a break, too. Be right back on KSVPTV.com. Pecans are a big deal here in Chavez County. We have some of the biggest orchards in the country, and lots of us have pecan trees in our yards. Hi, this is Jim Gill from Roswell Seed Company. Whether you have one pecan tree or a thousand of them, this time of year, every pecan tree needs fertilizing. So come see us at Roswell Seed Company, and we'll get you fixed up with the right fertilizer for your pecan trees. So the next year, your nuts will be big and beautiful. And... We're back, KSVPTV.com. Kelly McDonald here with you, flying solo for this action-packed district matchup between the Roswell Coyotes and the Carlsbad Cavemen. One-point lead for Roswell as they bring the ball across in what has been a tight game throughout. Coyotes looking for the district upset here at home, trying to increase their chances at a berth into the postseason as McCaskill gets his shot blocked by Perez. Kyle Ball underneath. Fuentes looks at three and now will drive and he will get held up by RJ Amos. That will be the first foul on Amos, first team foul of the second half. Each team with one, and Miramontes will inbound the ball underneath once again. And he'll get the ball out to Fuentes, and they'll set up the offense from there. Miramontes guarded by McWright, and now a turnover from Carrasco. So Carrasco and Miramontes just not really on the same page right now as you have consecutive turnovers one each from those guys trying to pass the ball to each other. Coyotes will bring subs with the next dead ball. Amos over to McWright. Again, they have Perez running the baseline with the two posts inside. And that's gonna be a turnover as they try to force the ball to Perez. And now 
Lackey will enter as well as Barola and McCaskill and Carrasco will take a seat. Pats with a one point lead. 428 remaining here in the third quarter. Palomino picks up the dribble and now hands it over to Miramontes. Inside to Lackey, kicks out for the three. No good from Fuentes. And rebounded by the big guy, Gonzalez. And near turnover as Miramontes tries to cut in front of that pass from Perez to Amos. Amos takes the ball from the official before the official gives it to him. Official takes it back, begins play. Amos on the drive, skips it over, and this is McWright, double teamed in the corner. And now the skip, and it's gonna be another turnover. Three turnovers in the quarter for Carlsbad, and they will bring Compost out and replace him with Samuel Gee. And biggest lead of the game has been four points for either team, and that was the Coyotes, and that was at halftime on the late three from Miramontes, but it has been a back and forth affair. It has been a tight one, and some just tells me it could go down to the wires. Palomino can't quite finish with the left hand there. And another defensive rebound for Gonzalez. Perez at the top of the key now, not running the baseline. There's Amos with the drive. Good defense from Barola. And they'll bring it back up top to Perez. Back to Amos. Amos with the long three, no, but good rebound by McWright, who puts it in. As the blockout was not there for the Coyotes. Palomino guarded by Perez, now hands the ball off to Manny Fuentes. He forces up a wild shot, no good. And Rolla doesn't like that. Amos gonna drive and now lose it on the turnover. And now will Fuentes attack? He will, and can't get it to go. Rebounded by McWright, he's gonna go the distance. He's fouled by Miramontes, a good foul. He's gonna make McWright earn those. And it'll be a two shot foul for Devin McWright. Just a second foul on Miramontes. So sub will come in momentarily. It will be Saraceno entering the game possibly for Fuentes. Meanwhile, McWright to shoot the first of two free throws. First one's up, rattles it home. Saraceno does replace Fuentes. And Tylen Gonzalez will leave, replaced by Garen Gossett. Second one's no good, rebounded by Barola. Barola turns it over. If the ball is knocked out from behind. And turned it right back over. So five turnovers for each team here in the third quarter. Not a huge number, but just like everything in this game, it's just been even and close. So the Coyotes are looking to tie the game now with two minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Jalen Cloud in the game for the first time. Saraceno is gonna be fouled by Perez on the perimeter. Perez with the reach, it'll be his second. Not anywhere close to the bonus. So it will be Kyle Ball out of bounds. Miramontes will inbound to Saraceno. Quick three from the corner, no. Miramontes battling for the rebound. It should be Kyle Ball. And it is. As you get good help from the lead official there on the sideline. So 
Amir Montez with the hustle. He gets the ball into Saraceno now at the top of the key. Saraceno and Cloud up top. Here's Miramontes, three from the corner, lets it fly, and Miramontes with his fifth three-pointer of the game leads all scores with 15. And now an open three for Carlsbad is going to be way short, and we're going to have a hell ball as Barola gets the defensive rebound but immediately is tied up. And possession arrow goes to the caveman, which means it's a turnover. So Cloud guarding Perez, giving up about a foot. And now a long three for number 25, and that is Xavier Rueda into the game for the first time. He's going to try it again. Neither shot really close. Second shot was up by Perez, excuse me, and now a turnover as Carlsbad chucks it into the stand. So Coyotes lead by one, minute 20 remaining here in the third quarter and a chance to extend the lead as they get Devin McWright back in the game. Coach John Zumbrin using that deep bench and all those seniors. Samuel Gee plays a little bit, Garen Gossett a little less, so pretty much anybody who goes in the game is a senior for Carlsbad. There's Barola on the drive and he has it stripped, so seven turnovers now for Rosal who have had a little trouble Handling the ball here. And they travel, I guess. I didn't see the indication, but they're going to say travel on Carlsbad. Coach Zumber doesn't like it, and I didn't see it. Thought they were calling a quick tide ball there, but it's going to go to Rosal in any event. There's Jalen Cloud on the drive. He's going to pull up and shoot a little jumper. No good. Lackey's going to knock the ball out of bounds, and that will be a team rebound to the Cavemen. Less than a minute remaining here in the third quarter. It's been a really good game as the underdog Coyotes have a one-point lead as we close out the third quarter here. Rueda passes to the corner, wide open look. And that's too easy for McWright, who knocks down the three and gives the caveman a two-point lead. Less than 30 seconds now as Saraceno takes a little tumble. He's up and he's all right, and he's got the ball. He's going to drive. Good defense by Carlsbad here. 17 seconds, plenty of time. And now it will be Cloud with the ball. Cloud travels. Eighth turnover of the quarter. And Coach Rolla says he traveled because he got pushed in the back, and I think he did. I think he's got a gripe there. And now with five seconds left, it will be Carlsbad getting the last one. Can Cloud get to it? He can, but he can't get a shot up, saves it inbounds, and your score at the end of three will be Carlsbad 35 and Roswell 33. We're going to take a one-minute break and be back for fourth quarter action here from the Coyotes in KSVPTV.com. That's all I'm going to say about that. With the hustle, bustle, and bright lights of the holidays in the rearview mirror, it's time to ease into the new year with a new car or truck from your friends at Roswell Ford because nobody makes car buying easier. With more than 500 pre-owned vehicles in stock and brand new units arriving all the time, finding the perfect vehicle is easy. A three-day money-back guarantee on all pre-owned vehicles makes the decision easy. No payments for 90 days easily gives you time to put those holiday expenses behind you. And with a goal of 100% credit approval, Roswell Ford even makes financing easy, regardless of your credit situation. And we happily accept I-10s. Like I said, easy. So make some time and come see what we have for you at the Tailgate Nation. Whatever you're looking for, you can count on Roswell Ford to keep it simple and make it easy. We're waiting for you now at the corner of 9th and Main, so we're even easy to find. All right, we're back, and we've got a good one going on here from the Coyote Den. Roswell Coyotes trail 33-35. They've actually led most of the way. 
but slipped a little in that third quarter, only scoring six and giving up 12, and it will be Damian Perez and the Caveman to start things off here in the fourth. Neither team in foul trouble, neither team near the bonus. So not an issue for either club. They can pretty much play who they want to play. Unless somebody picks them up quickly. Ivan Miramontes, Rylan Saracino, and Damian Perez each have two. And there's the turnover. And the steal from Miramontes. He's going to pull up, look for a 6-3, won't get it. Now numbers as Gonzalez gets it inside, can't get the finish. And the Coyotes able to recover on defense, but Perez left open for a three, and now the largest lead of the game for either team. Five-point lead for the Cavemen. Here's Saraceno at the top. He's going to hand it off to Cloud. He played well in his last game. Miramontes has that going straight, but no. Rebounded by Saraceno. He'll drive, and he's going to get bumped out of bounds, and that is going to be a foul on Devin McWright, I believe. It will be Coyote Ball. No, they're going to give that foul to Damian Perez, and that is his third foul. So with practically no Foul trouble for either team. Now the star, Damian Perez, with three. So he'll have to be careful not to pick up his fourth quickly here. Palomino with the up and under. Beautiful move from Jacob Palomino. He's got nine, and the Coyotes get it to three points. They trail 35-38. And Perez, in no hurry, hands the ball off to McWright. Now back to Perez. Thought Miramontes might go for the steal there. He did not. Perez, another deep three. And offensive rebound from Campos. Back to Perez. Perez drives. And skip pass. Back to Perez. Perez will drive this time. Little floater is good. So Perez with five points in the quarter already. And the lead back to five. Just a two-possession game here as Palomino gives it to Saraceno and it's going to be a foul on Zach Barnes. It'll be his first. And the 14 foul. So they're getting closer to bonus as Carrasco checks in. Along with Manny Fuentes. Saraceno and Cloud will get a break. Two sophomores. Another 3-4. Miramontes rattles out. And now Carlsbad looking to take the largest lead of the game for either team, but they're gonna they're gonna use a little clock here. Five point lead's a big lead in this game. It's low scoring, it's been tight the whole way. So Carlsbad, no hurry. Now they go high low. And Gonzalez has the ball stolen by Miramontes. So good job on defense there. And Miramontes with the long three. No, not really close. And Perez with the rebound. Perez hands the ball off to Barnes up top, and he'll reset the caveman offense. They want to go to Gonzalez again, and that's going to be a foul on McCaskill. First foul on McCaskill, third team foul. And it'll be two shots for Gonzalez, who's two for two from the line today. He's got 10 points. Eight of those coming in the first half. Cows have had a little trouble with the 6-7 listed, 6-7 Gonzalez. He rattles the first one out. So a good foul by McCaskill already. Potential to be a great foul here if Gonzalez misses the second and the Coyotes can secure the rebound. Second one is up and good. So a six point lead now is the largest of the game. 35-41 Coyotes trail. Just under five minutes remaining here in the ball game. Here's Miramontes, 
He's guarded by McWright. He'll pull up and shoot the mid-range shot this time. No. Offensive rebound to Palomino. Scoop is up and in. Jacob Palomino gets into double digits with his 11th point, cutting the lead to four. His ball inside of Gonzalez, and it's been trouble for the Coyotes the whole game. And Gonzalez able to score, rebounding his own first initial miss. And here's Palomino driving again, and this time it's going to be a turnover. And Palomino and McWright getting into it a little bit. And we'll see what the call is going to be here. The initial call was a a tied ball, and they're going to call a technical foul on Devin McWright. And going over to explain. And no complaints from Coach Zumbrin. Didn't exactly see what he did, but was right in front of the official when he did it. And he's still jawing with the official as he is taken out of the game. Official showing restraint there. Um, could have picked up a quick second one. And it will be Miramontes to shoot the two technical fouls and then forget the uh, tie ball. It will be Kyle ball, I believe. Miramontes makes one out of two. He's got 16 in the game. The Coyotes will maintain possession after the technical. But they trail by five here with 4-12 remaining. Ramontes will enter inbound, I should say. Gets it to Palomino at the top. Coyotes will look to run their offense. Palomino guarded by Perez. There's Miramontes, and that's going to be, they're going to count the three, and they're going to get a foul on Carlsbad. So Miramontes will get the three, but he wasn't fouled. Going to say the three pointer is good. It's going to be a foul on Zach Barnes trying to fight through a screen. And it's, we're not in bonus yet. It's just the 16 foul. So it's going to be Kyo Ball. So the Coyotes can make it all up here. Came into this possession down six. And if they can score here, they can tie or take the lead. So after a technical and an off the ball foul, Coyotes with a tremendous possession here. Inbound to McCaskill, guarded by Perez, hands the ball off to Fuentes. Deep three, no, McCaskill can't handle the offensive rebound, and it is Perez bringing the ball back for the Cavemen, but the lead has been cut to two. Cavemen still being patient, running their offense. Coyotes have gone to a man, I believe. Hard to tell, it could still just be matching up, and here's Miramontes with the help defense as Gonzalez cannot get it to go down, and the Coyotes with another chance to tie or take the lead here with three and a half minutes left in the game. What a gutty effort here by the Coyotes against the favorite cavemen in this district contest. Here's Fuentes looking to drive. Good D from Barnes. Now Carrasco with the ball, gets it to Palomino. Palomino drives, loses it. And they're going to say it, it's going to stay Kyle Ball. Knocked out of bounds by Evan Campos. 3-11 remaining now. Coyotes trail by two. And we're going to get a timeout. 30-second timeout called by Coach Barola. We'll take a 30-second timeout as well. Come right back for fourth quarter action here from the Coyote Den on KSVPTV.com. In times of uncertainty, one thing seems to be constant. Crime tends to rise. Zenith Security Services, a locally owned company that's invested in our community, reminds you that for less than five quarters a day, you can be proactive in protecting your home, family, and assets with a monitored alarm from a top UL rated company. The hardest calls we receive at Zenith Security are those needing our services after the fact. Call Zenith Security Services at 575-626-3521 to schedule your free security assessment today all right we're back for what is sure to be a dramatic finish here in the fourth quarter Kyle's trail by two 311 left they've got the ball and they're going to McCaskill inside and they're gonna have a hell ball 
They are going to have a hell ball. And I believe it will go to the Coyotes. The hell, previous hell ball did not count or was not enforced due to the te uh, technical foul being called. So it does remain Coyote ball. Here's Carrasco over to Palomino. Palomino looking to drive. Hands the ball off to Manny Fuentes. Fuentes chooses not to use the screen. He'll hand it to Miramontes back to Fuentes. Fuentes is going to drive. Tough shot, doesn't get the call. Just kind of tried to bully his way in there and force the contact. Good defense by Carlsbad. And now the two point lead. Carlsbad content to run a little clock, run a little offense here. Getting the ball to the high post here once, but not even looking to do anything with it. And oh, a near steal. And good defense again by Ivan Miramontes. Carlsbad bench wants a foul. I think they've got a gripe, but it will be the Coyotes with possession. No look pass from Carrasco over to Fuentes. He'll drive. Oh, nice pass. Another good look, and now a three from Carrasco. No. And the rebound is handled by Zach Barnes. Pretty good possession there by the Coyotes, but they come up empty. And timeout called by Carlsbad. It will be a full timeout, so back in 60 seconds. You're watching KSVPTV.com. Jennifer here from Trustmark Roofing, and I know you've heard me say that you can trust Trustmark, but I want you to know what that looks like in real life. A few years ago, we installed a beautiful new roof for an older woman who was recently widowed. She was an artist and colors were really important to her. So when she said she didn't like the color of a brand new roof, we took that seriously. She had picked the color and signed off on it, but I just kept thinking, if she's going to walk into her house every day and be disappointed, then we're just going to redo it. So we did. We ripped that beautiful new roof off and replaced it with a slightly different color and she was thrilled. Yes, it cost us quite a bit of money to make her happy, but I want you to know you can trust Trustmark to make it exactly right every time. If you have any roofing needs, call us at 575-755-ROOF or find us online at TrustmarkRoofPros.com. Trustmark Roofing, we put people first. All right, welcome back to the Coyote Den with the Roswell Coyotes trail to Carlsbad Caveman 41-43. A minute 43 remaining. Carlsbad has the basketball. We got an update from Carlsbad with the girls. After three, it's Carlsbad 20, Roswell 19. So a great effort by Coach Dan Smith and his crew there. See if they can pull the upset on the road. Coyotes trying to pull the upset here at home. And it looks like Carlsbad is Trying to run clock. No, they're going to take a three here. No good. And Miramontes is going to have a chance here to tie the game. And he will with a layup. Ivan Miramontes ties the game at 43. We've got a minute 15 remaining. Carlsbad with the basketball. Here's Perez working against Palomino. Uses a screen. He's going to get fouled on the three-pointer. And not a good foul from Jake and Lackey. And Coach Barola pleading his case. Mr. Carrasco says, you know what, that was probably a foul, and I agree. Lackey with his first, and Perez to the line to shoot three. Coyotes still in good shape, especially if Perez doesn't make all three of these free throws. Makes the first one. Yeah, just don't shoot a th foul, a three-point shooter, I should say. Second one is good for Perez. His 20th point of the game. As they get a sub into the game now, Garen Gossett will enter for Tylen Gonzalez. Perez makes all three. Now we're going to have a timeout call by Coach Barola. We'll see 
No, it's going to be on Carlsbad. It's a full timeout, so we'll be back in 60. Pass trail by three. You're watching KSVPTV.com. If you need a Kubota that works and plays hard, stop looking. You'll find everything you need at Amigo Machinery. When it comes to tough Kubota tractors, mowers, construction equipment, and utility vehicles, all with low-rate financing, Amigo Machinery is your one-stop shop. We are passionately committed to providing our customers with the highest quality products, most innovative solutions, and services delivered with integrity and professionalism. Stop by Amigo Machinery in Roswell or see us online at Amigo-Machinery.com. Bob Reed Pest Control protects you and your home by controlling pests that invade. Bob Reed Pest Control understands the importance of safety in and around your home from unwanted pests. Protect your family's most important investment, your home, and protect your children and pets from the dangers of poisonous bugs and insects. Call Bob Reed Pest Control today and let our fully licensed pest control professionals start working for you and your family. Find us fast and name some numbers. Call 623 53 for serving all of Southeast New Mexico. All right, we are back. A minute four remaining. Coyotes trail by three. And we'll see what Coach Brola decides to do here if he's looking for a three-pointer to tie it. Oh, into Lackey. Lackey loses it. And they're going to say Lackey out of bounds. got caught underneath the basket there. And now the Coyotes probably forced a foul here. As Palomino picks up Perez about three-quarter court. No initial foul. And Perez will drive, skip. And now they'll bring it back out. They're going to have to foul. You got to go ahead and foul, guys. Oh, and that's an over and back violation on Perez as he puts the heel down on the timeline at half court. And a huge break for the Coyotes there as Coach Barola will call a timeout. And we'll see if it's a 30 or a full. It's gonna be a full timeout. We'll be right back in 60 seconds for the last 30 seconds of this one on KSBPTV.com. If your car breaks down, no need to cry because there's always a pal nearby at Big O at Big O Tires. Locally owned, we'll get you in gear. That's because you've known us for years at Big O. Big O Tires. Don't need to sweat any extra labor. You can always trust a good neighbor at Big O. At Big O Tires. The best service is part of our code. Need a cup of sugar? We're down the road at Big O. At Big O Tires. Hurry into your local Big O Tires now through January 29th and buy three tires, get one free on four select in-stock necks and harassment tires with installation purchase. That's right. Buy three, get one free. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Installation required, not valid with other offers. Eligibility may vary. Disposal fees and shop fees extra where permitted. All right, we are back. Coyotes trail the Cavemen 43-46 here in the fourth quarter with 30.3 seconds remaining. I really think the Coyotes have to be looking three on this possession. You might make a wide open or attempt a wide open layup, but you're still down one in that case. Unless it's early in the possession, I think you have to be looking three here. And here it is, they're trying to get Miramontes in the corner, but he's well guarded. And now he's gonna throw the ball away. Lucky not to throw it away as it's off a Carlsbad defender. And that used up just about half the time. So 15.8 remain. Coyotes down three. Perez guards Carrasco at the top. And here's Miramontes, you want the ball in his hands. And now it'll be Fuentes for three. Pretty good look. Won't go down, six seconds left. And we're gonna get a foul on Lackey, fouls immediately, but we're not in the bonus. So the Coyotes out of time now. They got a great look at a three to tie the game there. Fuentes just couldn't get it to go, and Barola will use another timeout. And it likely be a full timeout here, we'll see. But we will take a break on 
KSVPTV.com for 60 seconds. We'll be right back. Even if you swing the golf club like an arthritic giant gorilla, you'll look good on the course in professional polos, shirts, and hats embroidered by business notions. Even add your company logo to golf balls. So don't look like a gorilla. Call Business Notions at 625-2840. Professional embroidery and screen printing, perfect for your next event in sports teams. Business Notions, our business is making your business look good. 625-2840. Did you know that Central Valley Electric Cooperative has a program in place to help members save on a variety of goods and services, from hotel discounts to pharmacy discounts? Bring in the new year with national local discounts using your CVE Co-op Connections card. Print your free Co-op Connections card at www.connections.coop or download the Co-op Connections app. You can learn more about the program and discounts at www.connections.coop. If you are a business and would like to become a part of the CVE Co-op Connections card program, call Ray Lynn or Kyler at 575-746-3571. All right, we're back. 5.6 seconds remain. Coyotes have to have a steal here or perhaps a turnover on a five-second call. Coach Zumbrin does have one timeout remaining, so I doubt he would let it get to a five-second call. And they get the ball to Perez, and Perez is just going to be able to. Oh, there's. Oh, 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 oh. Easy. 